evening, everybody. Welcome to Godalming College. My name's Emma Young. I'm very proud to be the principal. Um, before I make a start, I just want to thank very much Monty Nelson, who's just provided the piano accompaniment as you took your seats or as you're standing there. One thing to just say to those of you that are standing, thank you very much. We are, we are live streaming this to the canteen area where there might be a seat, so I won't be offended if you want to, to move and go and see if you can get a seat, if you're happy. Okay, that's fine. I just thought I'd offer that. Um, so look, uh, great that you're here. Really important that you're here because um, coming along to an evening like this is very much crucial in terms of looking at what your next step may be and choosing the right post-16 provider for you. Um, and you're really lucky in this part of the world that there is a lot of choice as far as post-16 provision is concerned. So there's other colleges like uh, Godalming that, that focus entirely on 16 to 18 uh, education. There's big general further education colleges uh, and there's obviously schools with six forms. And doing as much research and getting a sense of as many different providers as, as you can is really crucial in making sure that you get that decision right and it feels right for you. But I'm going to make no apology that the best place for you as far as post-16 education is concerned is Godalming College. And I'm going to summarise that why in, in 10 uh, points that I hope will help you kind of just get a sense and, and a bit more of a flavour about what Godalming College uh, is all about. So why Godalming College number one? Well, successful results. You won't be surprised, I'm sure, to hear me uh, mention those. We're really proud of our proven track record as far as results outcomes are concerned. Um, as you can see on the screen there, for both A-level and B-tech, uh, high grades and pass rates, we um, exceed national benchmarks and we do really, really well um, working in partnership with our students to ensure they get the very best grades. That's not just a freak of, of results for summer 2022. Uh, we consistently achieve um, results that exceed national benchmarks. And if you'd like to have a little look at our website, we've got the last three years' um, worth of results on our website for you to have a look at. Um, and there's also Department of Education um, performance tables that you can have a look at if you so wish. You might say, well, she would say this, wouldn't she? Um, because she's the principal of the college and she's very biased. Well, I've already admitted that. But um, also that we are Ofsted outstanding. Um, Ofsted came uh, in December 2019. You can see uh, the, re the report is also available uh, on our website as well. And you can drill down and look at each of the individual courses and the results for them. Um, as I said, they're all available. Um, Point three is really the uh, really crucial factor as far as the success of the college is concerned, and that's our specialist teachers. They're the reason why we're so successful in the sense that they are highly committed, dedicated staff who are specialists in their subjects, but they're also specialists in this age group because we only work with 16 to 18 year olds. We don't have to worry about the year seven curriculum or the year nine curriculum, um, or you know, that's, that's for, you know, in schools, that's what they have to do. But in a college like this, we just focus in on the A-level and the BTEC specifications that we deliver and we work and specialize with working with 16 uh, to 18 year olds. A key element of the college is the emphasis we place on learning, and I'll say a bit more about that as far as students are concerned in a minute, but also um, at the heart of our mission and our vision and values as a college is, is learning, because obviously learning is really crucial as far as passing qualifications are concerned, but learning is important to us as um, teaching staff and support staff, and we want to learn to be better at each of our roles that we have in the college. And last week, for example, there was a learning week for teachers, whereby they were going in and out of each other's lessons, watching each other teach. Um, some of the staff were running workshops around some of the things they've been experimenting with as far as teaching and learning concerned to constantly improve and develop uh, the pedagogy and that's uh, really really crucial. I'm really glad tonight that the sun is out. Yesterday evening we had our arts festival and it did did rain um, so I'm really glad tonight we've, we've got the sunshine here um, and that really will help you I hope to, to navigate your way around the campus and get a real sense of the facilities that we have on offer we're really proud of them we put a lot of time and investment 
um, into making sure students have the very best facilities to facilitate their learning. Um, we've got uh, a sports centre you might want to go and visit that has a gym for students to, to use and we've got performing arts block which has a dance studio and a drama studio and, and music practice rooms for example. Um, we've got our independent learning centre that I would urge you to go and see. Um, that's a, a really important place in the college where students can go uh, when they're not in lessons and access a whole range of resources, book based and e-books, um, for example. There's silent study area, there's access to computers, group work, and they've got the library staff on hand there to point them in direction of resources to support their learning. Tonight in the information, uh, tonight in the ILC is the information centre um, whereby there's a range of uh, senior staff on hand to answer any questions that you may have about the college. Um, so, as I say, please feel free to go and um, visit that. Um, one of the things the students always remind me at this point to, to mention when I'm talking about facilities is um, to mention a really important factor in post-16 education choice, and that's food. Um, so just to make you aware, we do have both a Costa and a Starbucks outlet. So if that's, you know, kind of edging your choice, they are both available for students. The Starbucks is open tonight. It's selling ice creams. Um, and then if there is any still left, fingers crossed but no promises, uh, in the canteen um, there are some tasters of the typical food, the hot food that's on offer to, to students. So. If you want to go and find out more about the food, go and speak to our wonderful catering team. We do have that in-house. We don't contract that out so we can control uh, and get feedback on the food and, and, and obviously um, keep the prices reasonable as well. Point number five you'll see there on the slide is something that is really unique to Godalming College too, and that's the enrichment programme that we offer for students. Um, so obviously all of our students here are studying A-levels and B-techs or a combination of both or just A-levels, just B-techs. But alongside their three courses, we expect students to do some form of enrichment in both their first and second year. Why do we do that? Well, that's because we want to help our students when they're applying for maybe higher education or an apprenticeship or employment to stand out from all the other applications that are being considered. And it's that enrichment of what students have got involved in that really helps them to stand out. So in their first year, essentially, students have two choices, um, either to do what we call our plus active pathway, and that's like the umbrella term for enrichment that you're probably very familiar with as far as the school offer is concerned, things like sport, music, drama, Duke of Edinburgh. If that's something you don't want to do, that's fine. I'm sure there would be something as far as the Plus Explore pathway is concerned. And that's a huge range of short courses, um, about eight weeks in duration. You can do one of them or two of them um, in your first year. And there's just a, a wide variety of offer. Things like uh, debating society, learning how to podcast, first aid, dissection club. That takes place on a Friday morning over in biology, just over there. Um, there's run 5K with me if you really want to improve your health and fitness. And I'm not seeing much demand for that. Moving swiftly on. Um, first aid. Uh, there is a huge law next, so for students thinking about maybe going into law, introduction to nursing, the, the, there's a, a, a wide variety. So please do have a little look on our website to find out more information. And again, um, staff on hand in the information centre if you, if you want to find out more tonight. Um, in the second year, again, with that expectation is that students will do some form of enrichment in their second year, so they might carry on you know, being part of uh, a sports team, for example, or there's a, a kind of plus qualification pathway that we offer, a small suite of additional qualifications that a student might want to do. It might be an arts award or a core maths qualification, but by far the most popular is the extended project qualification, the EPQ. Um, and that's a really good qualification, not only because the students can actually form the question, the research question that they want to, to study, and that can be linked to one or more of the subjects they're studying, or can be something completely different related, related to a hobby or an interest outside of college. They come up with a research question, and then what they do is they write that up into a 5,000-word report or produce an artefact, and then they have to present their findings as well. 
and that is really good in terms of developing a whole range of skills for students and particularly for students who are going on to higher education because some of those skills are absolutely crucial with the dissertation element of the degree uh, assessment. Um, so that enrichment is, is really, really important. I talked earlier about learning um, and the importance for staff on learning, but obviously key factor of what we work with as far as students is concerned is obviously making sure they learn what they need to to pass the qualifications, but also to reflect on how they approach their learning. And, and is that working or could they fine-tune their approach to learning we help them with becoming better at the process of learning and also recognizing providing that envi safe environment to to make mistakes that's the best way to learn so a lot of emphasis on helping students with the process of learning because that's such an important um, life skill now talking about supporting students with learning um, Support for students is, is really crucial too, um, and we, we're pr proud of our caring and supportive community. And at the heart of that is the personal tutor. Um, so every student is assigned a personal tutor who will look after them for their time at college, the two years that they're here. They'll firstly help them to settle in through their induction programme, and then um, eventually into the second year, um, they will be helping them with preparing for that next step. Um, for example, the first years this morning um, had their progression morning where they were with their tutor for the entire morning and they were working on personal statements, applications, making sure that they're ready over the summer to do um, research as far as their next step is concerned. And then when they come back after the summer, the personal tutor will be helping them with the, the final parts of, of applications. So personal tutor, very much a crucial part of the support that we provide. The first port of call for parents and carers, if you've got any issues that you want to, to just discuss, the personal tutor's there and vice versa. If we need to contact home, um, it's usually the personal tutor that would do that in the first instance. Alongside the personal tutor, a huge raft of student support as well in the form of we've got a counselling team should students need to access that. We have Holly Parks who's our health and wellbeing coordinator who's a qualified mental health nurse. She's here this evening, again up in the ILC if you would like to have a chat with her. Um, and then we have our fabulous learning support team who are here for students who do have special educational needs but also who are here for any student who wants additional support alongside the support they're getting from their subject teachers with things like essay writing and note taking and the like. So again, they're here tonight. Please do go and um, visit them um, up in the ILC too. And then point number eight there, I've mentioned already quite a bit about progression. Supporting our students with the next step is a key part of our role here at college, and there's a lot of support there. Firstly, as I said already from the personal tutor, but from our uh, specialist careers team on hand to provide one-to-one -one careers interviews for students who may need that. Um, there's an Aspire program for students applying for competitive courses, whether that be Oxford or Cambridge, uh, or looking to go into medicine or dentistry, specialist support there with the uh, additional applications and tests that they have to do in the interviews, um, all of that um, is there uh, for those students. Also help with things like drama school auditions, music conservatoires, art foundation uh, and the like. And the data you can see on the screen is, is something we're particularly proud of, actually, because we get this from the Higher Education Statistics Agency every year. So this is for um, former Godalming College students who graduated in 2022. Um, and it shows you how well they did as far as their degree classification is concerned. And 90.1% of, of, of those former Godalming College students who graduated in 2022 achieved a first or a 2-1 degree two highest degree classifications, um, which is pretty stellar, I think, and does demonstrate that the, the skills and the approach to learning that we provide here at Godalming enables students to be successful in that next step. And we beat all the sector averages um, as far as uh, degree classifications are concerned, as you can see on the screen there. Now, I appreciate with time pressing, you may not be able to get round to the whole of the campus tonight, so I thought I'd just show you a very short video just to give a bit more of a flavour of Godalming College.
So finally then, points nine and ten. Point nine is a huge range of choice that we provide in terms of the range of courses that are on offer for students, so over 35 co different courses. And look, I really appreciate that sort of narrowing choice down from nine, ten subjects at GCSE to typically three courses when you've got that range of choice is, is quite tough, but that's why tonight is really important and going around and speaking to as many different subjects as possible to get a sense of what those courses entail and using our website for that as well is really, really important. But we've also got pretty clever computer algorithm that can make pretty much any combination of subjects work, so we're not constrained by saying, I'm sorry, you can't do that combination of subjects because they're in the same block. So pretty much any combination can work, which means then we can tailor the individual study programme to each individual student. And then finally, the point 10 is, is something I feel really passionate about because, look, I've worked in sixth form colleges for my entire education career. So I started many moons ago at the sixth form college in Farnborough. I've worked at Isha College and then I joined Godalming College as principal uh, in 2016. And I've always worked in this sector because I passionately believe it's the best environment for 16 to 18 year olds. That stepping stone between school and the next step because because you have to make a change at 18, but if you make a change at 16, you will become more confident for that next step, whatever it may be. And we have our former students come back and talk to our current students about what it's like to study at university or what it's like to do an apprenticeship. And they always say, gosh, we were more confident than our peers. And, and that is something that I feel really passionate about. And obviously, Godalming College is the best place for post-16 education. Very biased, I know. But honestly, you make up your mind. And I want you, ultimately, students to be happy with their choice. That's the most important thing, actually. So look, next steps. Um, very briefly, apply online. Applications for September 2024 are now open. Um, you can apply online. I'd urge you to do that as soon as possible, even though the deadline is in February. Um, the sooner you do that, the sooner we'll schedule a course advice session. So that's where you'll have an individual course advice session with one of our members of staff to start talking about narrowing down um, that study programme to those three choices. Um, and then eventually, what our current applicants for this September are about to embark on tomorrow and Friday are our taster days, uh, whereby they come along and they do taster lessons in the subjects that they have picked ready for starting in September. So in a year's time, you as Year 10s will be doing that very thing, I hope, at Godalming College. So thank you very much for coming along. I really hope you enjoy the open evening and all the best to you. Thanks very much.